Hey everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and today's interactive read aloud is Misha Makes a Friend, written by Tom Percival. Now, I am very excited for this story because first, it's a very sweet one about friendship and how to make a friend, but also Tom Percival is the author of these other very fun read alouds that we have read together before, and they are right here behind me. So if you remember Perfectly Norman, Ruby Finds a Worry, and Ravi's Roar, then you are in for a special treat because Tom Percival, the author and illustrator, just released a new book called Misha Makes a Friend, and we are going to read it together today. Now this story, my friends, is about how sometimes it's hard to make friends. It's not always the easiest thing in the world. What do you think, my friends? Is it easy to make friends for you, or do you have a little bit of a hard time too? That's right, it can be hard to make friends sometimes, but other times, sometimes you connect with other people pretty easily. But in this story, we're gonna read about the little girl Misha and how she tries to make friends and how she finds some friends in the end. Okay, well, if you are ready to begin, go ahead and give me a double thumbs up. Let's get started. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is Misha Makes a Friend, written and illustrated by Tom Percival. And my friends, remember if there is only one name on the cover, that means that this person wrote all of the words and drew all of the pictures you are about to see. They are the writer and the illustrator. And if I take a look at this cover here before we get started, what do you notice going on? That's right, I see a little girl here and I'm thinking she must be Misha, right? And but there's another little boy here and it looks like he's holding out this toy to her. And how does she feel, my friends? She's giving the boy this look. How do you think she feels? Right, she maybe looks a little unsure, right? Maybe a little curious, but also a little cautious, a little worried, like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this right now but also a little happy, right? Because she has a little smile. So maybe like even a little shy, but wanting to figure out who this boy is. Hmm. I'm wondering if they are going to become friends. What do you think? Maybe since the book is about how she makes friends, maybe, maybe she and this little boy become friends. And it looks like, oh, over here, she has her own little toy over here. Hmm. And these are really creative looking toys, aren't they? Okay, friends, well, before we begin, how do you make friends or what do you think you need to do? Can you tell me how do you make a friend? What are some things you need to do to make a friend? Yeah, those are some great ideas and some good advice. You should be really kind, go introduce yourself, say hi, play together, be fair, share. Great ideas. Well, let's see what Misha finds out. Let's get started. So let's begin. Misha loved making things. And if I look over here at her room, look at all of these things she makes, my friends. What are some things that Misha makes? That's right. Look at all these creations she's making, like these toys. Look at this thing. It looks like it's a little birdie. What did she make it out of? What does it look like it's made of? Right? It looks like these papers, these cardboard boxes, but she crafts them all together, tapes them up. Over here, she has lots of drawings, banners. Oh, yeah. She is so creative. Look at her pictures. Oh, what is she drawing here? Looks like the bird's hat over here. So she loved to make things. My friends, do you like to make things? What are some things that you like to make? Wow, you are so creative, just like Misha. She could make pictures out of numbers. <gasps> Look at that. What numbers do you see here in her picture? Right? An eight, a two, a one, some sevens. She made a picture out of them. And she even made pictures out of sounds. So when she hears sounds, she makes them into a picture in her mind. Whoa, my friends, do you think you can do that? Can you make pictures from numbers and sounds? It's another creative thing to do. Sometimes she even made pictures out of both. So sounds and numbers at the same time. Oh, 
My friends, a cool activity to do would be to get a piece of paper and make some pictures using only numbers or listen to music and dream up pictures. But, oh, that tells me a change is coming. But there was one thing that Misha found hard to make, and that was friends. And what do you notice about this picture, my friends? What do you see about the colors of this picture? Right, I noticed that Misha's in color over here, but then all these other kids who are happy and playing together are in black and white, which makes me feel like Misha is separated from them, right? She's different or they're different from her. They're not together playing. She's separated from these friends. So she has a hard time making friends. Well, my friends, have you ever felt like Misha? Like sometimes it's hard for you to start making friends or maybe feel a little bit left out? Yeah, it's not too good of a feeling, is it? Everybody else seemed to find it easy, but not Misha. 97 is the bluest number, she tried to say. And what do the little kids think when she says that? I don't really understand that, right? 97 is the bluest number. Because she sees pictures out of numbers, right? And colors, but they're just like, what is she talking about? And when she tried, she didn't know what to do, what to say, or when to say it. Tag, you're it, she's saying over here. But that's a game you play, but why might it not be a very good time to play that game right now? Right? He looks like he's hurt, right? And he's crying and he's sad, but does he want to play tag right now? I don't think she notices that, right? Sometimes making friends is hard. You have to learn to see what the other friends are doing and how they're feeling too. For Misha, making friends was so difficult that she wondered if she would ever be able to do it. How is she feeling right here? feeling a little left out and sad, right? My friends, I know sometimes I felt like this, like I was sitting on the outside and watching everyone else have fun and wishing I could join along. Do you ever feel like that? Let's see what she can do to help her make some friends. Then one evening, Misha had an idea. She got out her paints, her pencils, and all her other tools. Then she started to cut and stick and glue and sew. And <gasps> what do you think her idea is? What is she doing? I don't know, right? But it looks like she is making a lot of things. Let's see. Oh, and look at this picture here, my friends. What did she make or who did she make? Looks like she made all of these friends. And if I take a close look, what did she use to make some of her friends? Right, it looks like she recycled a lot of materials. She used some tin, some orange juice containers, cereal boxes, all these different little boxes and other pieces that she recycled to craft these friends together. Soon she had a whole group of really fun friends. Friends that were easy to be around. Friends that she could take with her wherever she went. And why are these friends so easy to be around? Maybe compared to the other people. They're just, they're friends she made, right? They're not real people. They're toy friends. So maybe she feels more comfortable because they're just toys and they go wherever she wants. They'll play what she wants. She doesn't have to be nervous about what to say to them. But, uh-oh, if I take a look here, are her friends really good at playing though? It's a little hard to play with these friends that are just toys, right? Admittedly, Misha's new friends weren't very good at tennis. Uh-oh. What happens when they try to play tennis? Oh, yeah. I think you need someone to hit back when you play tennis, right? They weren't very good at tennis. Or soccer. Oh, oh no. Or catch. What happens when she tries to play soccer or catch? All right. Uh, I think you might need some real people friends to play those games. But. Misha felt comfortable with them, and that was what mattered. One day, Misha's mom said they were going to a party. She said there would be lots of nice people there. She said it would be fun. Misha wasn't so sure, though. And Why isn't Misha so sure that this party is going to be fun? She has a hard time making friends, right? What do you think she's worried about? 
she might not have any friends to play with. Looks like she's packing her bag. Oh, what is she bringing along? One of her little friends. What, my friends, do you think is something Misha could do at the party to help her make some friends? Those are some good ideas. Let's let's see what happens. The party was noisy, chaotic, and unpredictable. So chaotic means there's so much going on, so much noise. Everyone was playing together, and Misha just couldn't find a way to join in. And oh no, now how is she feeling? Seems like she's a little overwhelmed, right? There's too much noise, so many people running around. She doesn't quite know what to do or how to join in. Have you ever felt like this at a party, my friends? Or maybe playing outside with a bunch of friends that it was just so noisy and you just didn't know what to do? It's a little bit of a scary feeling too, right? To not quite know what to do surrounded by so many people. Well, Misha ran off to find a quiet corner to get some space where she could make her own friends. Oh, and what did she bring with her in her bag? All her crafting supplies. Misha sat happily for a while until she realized that something didn't feel right. What do you think she realized? Oh, there is someone there. <gasps> someone, a boy, was watching her. Hmm. He said, hi, I'm Josh. Can I see what you're making? And for a while, Misha said nothing. What do you think she's thinking about this little boy? Hmm. And what do you think she's going to say? Do you think she's going to let him see what's going on? I wonder, right? I know she's a little uncomfortable with other people. But then she took a deep breath. Mm. Deep breaths always help calm us down. My friends, can you practice taking a deep breath with me? Three, two, one. <gasps> <sighs> let it out. She took a deep breath. That's a good thing to do if you're a little anxious or nervous. And showed him her friends. <gasps> wow! Yes, to Josh. They're amazing. Can you show me how to make one? <gasps> oh, so he wants to play what she's playing? But what do you think she's going to say? What is she thinking about here? So he asks if he can play too. And what are some of her thoughts? Like she's a little worried that he might not know how to play right. Misha was worried though. What if, what if he got it all wrong? What if he ruined everything? But Josh didn't look like he would try to ruin things. So dot, dot, dot. So those dot, dot, dots are called ellipses. It's going to continue on the next page. So she doesn't think Josh is going to ruin things. So what do you think is going to happen? You think she's gonna ask him to play? I hope so, that'd be a nice thing to do to make friends. Oh, and what's going on? It looks like they are crafting and playing together. So Misha showed him what to do. And do you know what? Josh didn't get it all wrong and he didn't ruin anything either. Instead, what happened? It looks like he made a very special friend. In fact, now that she was making things with someone else, it was even better. So Misha thought that she would be happy doing it all on her own. But now that she got to share it with someone, how is it? She's having so much more fun, right? It is always fun to share things with friends. Soon, Misha and Josh had built a whole town for their friends to live in together. She was able to share something she loved to do with someone who also loved doing the same thing. They found a thing to connect over, something they both like to do together. Let's go and show the others, said Josh. <gasps> Misha wasn't so sure about that. Why might she not be so sure? Right? But Josh's smile made her feel that it would all be okay. So friends give us bravery. And my friends, take a look. Look at all the things they made. What do you notice? Right? So many cool things. They made a flying one up here. They also used recycled materials, some milk, more cereal boxes, a juice box. So his smile made her feel like it would be okay. And it was. And what is going on now?
Look at all these friends who want to play what Misha is playing and play it with her. For the first time ever, Misha knew exactly what to say and what to do. And what is she showing her new friends here? How to make these crafts, right? She found a way to connect with the other kids. Maybe she doesn't know how to play their games, but if she can show them how to play what she plays, maybe they can do that together. Find something they have in common to play together. And that was how the friends that Misha made, all her friends that she made from her craft supplies, that's how the friends she made helped Misha make friends. The end. And what is going on here? She and her new friend Josh are drawing together, building, creating. And what are they drawing? They're drawing each other. How sweet, my friends. They look like they are going to be good friends. I am so glad that Misha made some friends in the end and learned how to share what she was interested in and find a way to connect with other kids too, to have some fun together. All right, the end. Wow, what a sweet book of friendship and learning to share about yourself, connecting with others, finding ways to have fun all together, my friends. What was one of your favorite parts about this story? Right, that was such a good part. I loved seeing all the creative things that Misha made from those recycled materials. And that'd be a fun thing to do, right, my friends? Maybe you can find some recycled materials and make some of your own creations. And maybe that's something you and another friend can do together, build creations out of some recycled materials. Well, in this book, we also learn some things about how to make a friend. It can be really hard, and sometimes you do feel a little bit left out. But what was something that Misha learned? to do to make a friend. Right? She learned to share what she likes with other people, to maybe invite people to try what you're doing so that they can try it too, to be welcoming to people who want to join in, take a risk. Even if you feel a little worried about talking to someone, go ahead and give it a try because you never know that person could become your best friend. If you go ahead and share with them what you like to do and give them a chance and talk to them, right? You never know who just might be your very best friend. Okay, my friends. Well, that leads us into this week's craft inspired by this story where we'll be crafting some little toy buddies and using them to share some ideas of how to make a friend or sharing a little bit about ourselves too to help us make friends with others. Are you ready to check it out? Let's take a look. So for this week's craft, we have these little toy buddies, just like how Misha makes toys. And here they are. And these little toy buddies are going to help us talk about how to make friends. So one looks like a little teddy bear that her friend made. And one looks like a little mouse, um, little mouse creature that she made. And if you look here on their little belly area, this one says, Maya makes friends, just like how the title of the book is Misha makes friends. And if you open up this little body area right here, these flaps open up and you'll see it has either a way for you to write down some steps. What are three steps that you know of that helps you make a friend? And then at the bottom, there's a reminder to be open, be honest, and be you. So this is one uh, example of how you could share about how to make friends. This is a little mouse toy. We've got his little tail. And this one says how to make friends. So both of the different toys come with the different templates available. So you could get this one on the bear one if you wanted or the bear one on the mouse one. But if you open up this one, then you'll see there are some different choices, different prompts about that you can fill in about how to make a friend. For example, it says introduce yourself when you put in your name. Hi, my name is. Share some things about you. There's space for you to share some things. What are some questions you can ask a friend? There's space for you to write some questions. And then a space to share three adjectives about what makes a good friend and put them in the hearts. And the little reminders on the side. So this is a fun way to share how to make friends, to give yourself a little reminder about how to make friends, especially when you're starting a new school a new school year or even if you're in the middle of the school year and you just want to make a new friend. So if you're interested in making these little toy friends buddies yourself then go ahead and click the link down below in the description and it will take you to my blog where you'll find other reading resources and the craft template to make these toys crafts. 
on the blog, you'll also find other reading resources and other read aloud ideas. So definitely check it out. And if you do make these crafts, my friends, I'd love to see them and hear about how you make friends. So please reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, email, here on YouTube. All those social media links can be found down below. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud. I can't wait to share more reading adventures with all of you, my friends. If you did like today's reading adventure, please subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of our interactive read alouds. I love sharing this story time with you. But that brings us to the end of today's story time. So my friends, as always, I hope that you are staying safe and healthy. I can't wait for our next reading adventure together. But until next time, happy reading. Thank you.